In this video, we are going to be going through how to select the perfect bat for you from how it feels, how comfortable you are with it, and the size that you would need. Before we get on with this video, the most important thing when choosing your own cricket bat is the price. So make sure to get the best possible wood within your specific budget. Without further ado, Byron take us through it. The first step would be to choose a bat that is best suited to you according to your height. If you are between the heights of 129 centimeters and 137 centimeters, you'll be needing a size 2 bat. From 137 centimeters to 144 centimeters, we are now moving up to a size 3. 144 centimeters to 150 centimeters, we'll be needing a size 4 bat. Conversely, if you are between the height of 150 centimeters and 157 centimeters, you'll be needing a size 5 bat. Moving up from here, if you're between the heights of 157 centimeters and 163 centimeters, you'll be needing a big boy bat, which is a size six. If you're between the heights of 163 centimeters and 168 centimeters, you'll be needing a harrow bat. If you're lucky enough to be taller than 168 centimeters, you will now be moving into a short handle bat. Now that we know which heights are needed for a bat, it is gonna be my turn to select a bat that I feel is best for me. Seeing as I'm a fully grown adult, I'm going to be choosing a short handle bat. The process I go through is I like a very balanced weight in my bat, where it's not sitting too much on the toe, where it feels that the bat is pulling down, but a little bit more center, because I like to play a lot of back foot shots, and this allows me to have the hand speed to hit through that and really take advantage of my particular skill set as a batter. But having said that, I'm not particularly a fan of a very heavy bat. As you can see behind me, MRF has been very kind and left me a selection of bats for me to choose for myself from. So I'm going to go through each bat, feel the pickup, give my input on it, and hopefully by the end of it, choose a bat for myself. The first bat I'm going to be looking at is the Genius Grand Edition. Okay, looking at the wood, nice even grains throughout, quite happy with that. Nice bow in the bat, I do like a bit of a bow actually. Fractionally toe heavy, decent pickup. Like I said earlier, probably prefer slightly more balance, but first impressions, not, not too bad. Could probably bat with this. Maybe more Zen and stuff. This is what I work with. Moving on, looking at the Genius Pink Edition. A lot of grains. My personal preference is normally not to have grains as closely together as this, like a bit more of a spread grain. Just general preference. Pick up, it's, it's very toe heavy for me. Feels like the bat wants to pull down into the ground. Relatively straight, could have more of a bow for my liking. Probably not a bat I'd look to bat with in any game or any practice. Moving on, looking at the Genius Elite. Uh, grain's a little bit more spread than the previous bat, than the pink edition. Really not much of a bow. Already not really a fan of that, but let's see the pickup. Yeah, it's okay. It's a little bit more balanced than the others, but again, the fact that it doesn't have as much of a bow as I'd like is probably a, a deal breaker for me as a batter. Moving on to the Genius Chase Master. All right, I like the look of the grains. It's a good looking bat. Got a nice bow for me. It's got a very nice pickup. Feels really balanced. Looks like a good piece of wood. I can see myself batting with this pattern again. This is going to be one of the ones that I'm going to choose between, I guess. Looking at the Genius 360, nice evenly spread grains, nice bow, very nice bow, very nice pickup. Another bat that I could see myself batting with. So I guess I'm going to have to choose between the Genius 360 and the Genius Chase Master. For me, Blazer. Thank you, Zen. Obviously, let's see some pink potential now. Both bats quite similar to me in the feel with the pink potential. But for my preference, the little bit of a bow with the pickup, probably gonna go with the 360. Just a quick disclaimer, all of the bats that I managed to pick up today were top grade willow. So when it comes to choosing a bat, the grains, the way it feels, the bow, it's all gonna be the preference of the batter that's picking them up. Some people like the grains closer together, some people don't. It all comes down to your preference and the confidence you are going to have when selecting a bat. A massive thank you to MRF that allowed us to use all of their bats today for filming of this video. Secondly, thank you so much to all our members. The names will be over here. And finally, I'm off to eat some balls. You're going to get some oak. Some oak that's going to look at it and be like, but those bats changed. <laughs> 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 <laughs>